Namaste guys, Ashish here for Namaste Tech and before we start, I hope you guys really had a great Holi. It's one of the most colorful festivals in India and really hope you enjoyed it. So starting in this video, we are talking about Honor 6X and it's one of the most prominent phones in India as of now because it comes with dual camera and it's like getting your dual camera in a budget segment was one of its USPs, in fact, a major USP of the phone. Now, it all started with P9, which came with dual camera, in fact, a dedicated monochrome lens. And after that, it was like something was set as a standard. That is something our guys did really well here. In fact, Cool One was one of the phones that came with a dual camera in the budget segment. And now, on a 6X has, has a dual camera in the budget segment, and they have put all their engineering work right in the phone. We are here to see if it actually worked. All right, before we start with the camera part particularly, we'll talk about the design first. Now the phone has got a great design, but it's not very distinctive. It looks like a regular phone, like everybody has the same design. Now the phone has a metal build quality, which is really good. The ergonomics are really, really nice. It has got a 1080p screen, which is something everybody now looks in the phones which are priced at around 10 to 13K. And then you have got really, really slim antenna bands, which don't look like prominent thing on the face. And in the rear, you have those dual camera of which one is a two megapixel camera, which actually, you know, takes a sense of depth and you have got a LED flash over there, fingerprint sensor. And it's almost like a standard phone. So yeah, I will give it to a design. It's a great design, but then it's not very, very distinctive. But having a metal build quality is definitely one of the things people always look at the phone. Now, what I really didn't like about was the on-screen button. It's a 5.5 inch phone and you have got a good display there. And then you are also leaving space where the buttons could have. Why? I only choose for an on-screen button if the screen is actually taking up a whole space in the front. But if you leave space where the buttons could have and still have an on-screen button, no, that's really not my choice, but then, yeah, you have to deal with it. Then you have got speakers right in the front. Um, it's something I kind of like it. I don't like it. Everything has its drawback because I usually hold my phone like this and the speakers get blocked, the volume gets lower, but that will happen even if the speaker was in the rear as well. Now the buttons and the SIM tray and the volume knockers all look good. What I really liked about is the display part. It's really sharp. You have got great PPI and in fact, when gaming, casual or heavy, whatever gaming you take, the graphics come out really, really good. So this is something everybody wants on their phone and they admire it and 6X has got it for you. Now let's talk about performance. Everybody wants their phone to be running like really fast. So what did Honor 6X has? It's got a current processor, which is an in-house product from Huawei and it is 655, 2.1 gigahertz, octa-core processor. So yep, you got all the stuff that you need to do it. So how does it perform when you go for a multitasking? Well, multitasking wasn't absolutely a problem because I had like 15 or 16 apps just for the testing purpose. Usually I'll take a five or six apps. You really don't need more than that. And the switch worked really fast with me. There was no lag. But then when I started gaming on Honor 6X, well, that was a bummer. I mean, like, it's probably the processor and the GPU problem. But then if I want to play heavy game, this is where everything gets stuck. There's something that needs to be worked on from the Honor guys. And because, you know, there are a lot of people who have medium budget phone and they want to play racing games and Asphalt 8 is like top games that is available in the market for racing and if it doesn't work it's really really annoying when it comes to ram you have got 3 gb variation with 32 gb of internal storage 4 gb of variation with 64 gb of internal storage now 3 gb of ram in my opinion is more than enough for anything what matters is the processor and the GPU on the phone. So yeah, you get the idea. Now let's talk a bit about UI. Now it runs EMUI 4.1.1, which is powered by Android 6.0. Now Android 6.0 at this stage, I would love to have Android 7.0, mostly because there are a lot of features in Android 7.0, which makes the whole experience much better. Now I've got the update on P9 and the way it has changed 
it is dramatic. I mean, like it, it's a major upgrade. You have got EMUI 5.0 from 4.1.1, and you get Android 7.0, which is the latest version of Android, and there are tons of features and stability improvement that everybody wants it. So what I'm hoping is Honor 6X actually get that update because it has to be there if you want to keep selling the phone in the market for a long duration of time because most of the phones that will come this year will have Android 7.0 and older phones will get Android 7.0 in any case. So yeah, you get the idea. You have to roll out Android 7.0 for Honor 6X. Now let's talk about camera, the thing that the USB of the phone, the unique selling point, and Honor was actually emphasizing, there were a lot of storytelling around it, but how did it actually perform in real experience? Now, let's talk about the hardware first. Now it has got two cameras here. The first one is the 12 megapixel camera and the second one is the two megapixel camera. While the 12 megapixel camera sensor do all lot of image processing and everything, it takes snapshot, processing is done. Two megapixel camera here is only for sensing depth. So Honor 6X wants to put a bokeh effect in focus where they say the camera can take bokeh effect you can have a blurry background, which actually really looks cool, especially if you have seen in the movie. They're trying to emphasize that, you know, this is the best camera you can get with a proper bokeh effect. But then it isn't really the case. I mean, you get the bokeh effect most of the time, but it really looks flimsy. It doesn't look very, very natural. And it is something which is done through post-processing, of course. Talking about image quality, well, the photos are really, really fantastic when it's proper daylight light or even the light like we have here, it's really, really cool. But then when you go to low light or little shady light, the performance actually drops down. What we expected that with at least two camera and the image processing they are saying, it will turn out to be much, much better, but that isn't the case. Particularly about the bokeh effect, if you have a lot of subjects in the background, this is where it fails because the phase detection and all those comes into picture. and. This is where the whole purpose of having a second camera for depth processing, it's like defeats the whole purpose. So if you have like a single object in the front with a clean, nice background, the bokeh effect really works cool. But if you have multiple objects, multiple subjects, and if the depths are really, really different, it doesn't really work out. Also, the processing takes a bit of time. The gallery app wasn't really loading well because the image processing was still going on. So this is something, a line where Honor can actually improve the whole scenario and make it work better in probably the next version or probably an update can actually fix that. That's a very good idea. They should do it. One thing which we really liked about the camera is the UI. It offers a lot of features. You've got time lapse, then you have got SDR, beauty, light painting, and so many others. There are like 16 modes. You've also got a pro mode here, which you can use to adjust a lot of things. That is something that came up with the previous version and it's really useful if you're kind of person who understand what photography is and they can actually change things to make a better picture. How is the battery performance on Honor 6X? One of the feature that people always want to be on the higher side. No matter what you are providing, if the phone doesn't last longer, why should I use it? Well, we are happy to share that Honor 6X actually lasts pretty long with its 4000 mAh battery. It almost lasted for one and a half days on a regular usage, but when I go heavy using, it goes for one day. So 24 hours is actually really, really good. And with the optimization and the phone manager app that it comes with, you can actually make it last longer by using it an ultra power saving mode or the saving mode, and it works out at the end. One thing you should know that Honor 6X doesn't have fast charging. It comes with regular USB charging, uh, probably it's like, you know, a budget segment phone, but then there are a lot of phones that is coming with fast charging and USB type C charging, which makes sure that the phone charges much faster, but that isn't the case with the Honor 6X. But then you have 4,000 mAh battery, which is somewhere in between, but be careful that you should be charged up before traveling. That's a very advice from our side. So do we recommend this phone? We absolutely recommend this phone if the dual camera thing is your choice. But then there are competition in the market that you should know. For example, Lenovo Z Plus, then you have got Redmi Note 4. All these have great performance, decent camera. And in fact, Cool One also has got a good camera on a lower price. So it all depends on what your choice is. 
Overall, the device works out well for a regular purpose, except for the gaming part where I would say skip it. But other than that, everything looks cool. So guys, this was our review of Honor 6X. Let us know in the comment section if you have any question about device from performance perspective, from gaming perspective, or from camera perspective, do let us know. Thanks for watching.